Welcome back to Daily Flash. If you've ever considered yourself unlucky in law, we are going to try and change your outcome. According to our next guest, there are myths about love and relationships that hinder our happiness. Joining us now is Vincent Jenna. He's a psychic therapist and spiritual teacher. Vincent, welcome back to Daily Flash. Oh, it's so great to be here, Andrea. Thank you for having me today. And you're talking about my favorite subject anyway, love. So let's start with the first myth, Vincent. You say soulmates, complete Ooh. myth. Oh, I am so glad that this is done online because if anybody was in the studio here, they'd be throwing things at me. <laughs> as soon as I turn around and I tell everybody there is no such thing as a soulmate, so stop shopping for one. <laughs> everybody is out there wanting to find the perfect love. And so as soon as it was romanticized, it was actually romanticized by Richard Bach in a couple of his books back in the 70s that he wrote and talked about the concept of soulmates, that there is somebody out there that God created or the universe created or you created <laughs> that's your perfect lover. If you keep trying to find that perfect lover, you're not working on the things that are necessary to work on to attract your perfect lover. Soulmate is a myth. However, that doesn't mean that once you're in a relationship, you're not meant to make that relationship into a soulmate-like relationship. Ooh. That's what my wife and I have. We've been together for 50 years. Oh, and wow. we Absolutely. That's because we did the right work and we made it a soulmate relationship. So don't be waiting because every time you wind up waiting and it doesn't work out, you wind up saying, well, that wasn't my soulmate. I made a mistake. I'm going to really look for my soulmate this time. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, while you're waiting for your soulmate, the other one just left on a bus. Uh, it just seems to happen that way. Absolutely. Right? Plus, we don't go shopping. We don't go shopping. You, It's better to go shopping for clothes, not for partners. Oh, okay? I love that. Bitch. I love it. Okay, next on your list, you say another total myth, opposites attract. Oh, my gosh. I keep <laughs> talking about that. Why would you want to be with somebody that has an, a total opposite <laughs> value than you, opinion than you? You need to find somebody who's going to be in the same book. Right now, people are together that aren't even in the same bookstore, no less the same book. You, like attracts like. That's the way this universe works. So you know that proverbial list that everybody writes out for the perfect partner that they want? Yep. Well, I want them to write that list. And you title it the top 10 most important traits I want in my partner. Write all 10. When you finish number 10, go back to the title, cross out the word partner, and write in the word M-E. Now the title says the top 10 most important traits I want in me. Because mm. what you have listed there in yourself, enhance them. Put ones in that you don't have, that you have on that list. Take ones out you don't want in a partner. Because like attracts like. Attraction has nothing to do with another person. It has all to do with you and the energy that you're putting out into the universe. But that doesn't mean that once you're together, it doesn't take two to maintain the relationship. It does. But attracting has all to do with you. That's why it's so perfect to know that like attracts like. Whoever you are in your core base, I'm not talking about what you think you are, is what you're going to attract. Now, where they got the idea of opposites is that different gender, right, is going to have maybe an opposite way of showing that. So it's like attracts like, which is the most important thing. What about healthy relationships equal independence? No, no, everybody is so worried about being independent. Oh, I'm me. I'm going to do all my things alone. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that we can do alone. We always need somebody there or at least have somebody there. It's not a matter of dependency or independency. It's a matter of interdependency. Nice. It's the two of you working together, not depending on each other, but helping each other. That is different. Create a family. Create a life together. Create that soulmate relationship. It takes two people to do that, not an individual and not independently. Preach. So many I love couples it. There have independent even bank accounts and everything like that. No, 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 no. Let's get that working together. And I promise you, your relationship will get stronger and stronger and stronger. But heal what's inside that may be blocking your own self-love 
Andrea, that's the most important part of this formula of making couples work. Heal what may be hurting you, but do it together in partnership. And I promise you, you will gain such an incredible relationship that brings you nothing but bliss and joy. Okay, we have to finish out the conversation with the last one on the list. I'm picky. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm so picky. There are 8 billion people in the world. You're telling me that not one of them is good. <laughs> Actually, you're self-critical. If you're picky of others, it's because you're picky of yourself. Stop being so self-critical and you won't project that on others. Take care of that attracting, like attracts like idea. Take care of yourself. And I promise you that you will be completely satisfied with that next relationship that you attract into your life. Andrea, that's what it's all about, you know? Hey, Vincent, thank you so that much. Was for great advice. We appreciate okay. your time. Vincent, you took us to church. Yes. For more information on relationship myths, please, 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 please visit vincentjenna.com. Vincent, once again. That was again. fantastic. Thank you.